Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, good morning. 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 Chatsurun militanye na tesmai shri gurave namaha. Vancha kaupa tarubhyascha kripa sindhu bhai evacha. Patitanam pavanibhyo vaishnavibhyo namo namaha. Jai shri krishna chaitanya prabhu nityananda. Shri Advaita Gadadha Shri Vasadi Gaur Bhakta Vinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare We're reading the Brihad Bhagavatam Rita and we're hearing how Narada Muni had come to Dwarka to hear Lord Krishna talk about his separation from the people of Vrindavan. So Narada Muni was feeling guilty that he had reminded Lord Krishna about the people in Vrindavan, causing Lord Krishna to feel agitation. Narada Muni but Lord Krishna consoles the mind of Narada Muni and he tells him, actually, you did me the greatest favor. Lord Krishna said, you did me a great favor because you reminded me about the people of Vrindavan and how much love they have for me and how much I have love for them. So Lord Krishna was describing how they feel so much pain in separation from each other. But that pain of separation is the greatest ecstasy. And the heart of the, the, the devotee who is separated from Krishna, their heart feels completely satisfied. And when they come together, then they feel so much pleasure in each other's company. And they, when they come together, they actually feel that the, the, the separation was the greatest pleasure. The pleasure of being separated from the lover was even greater than the pleasure of meeting with the lover. And when they come together, they feel that the separation was the greatest pleasure. 
他们会感到巨大的快乐。他们觉得，嗯，分分离的时候的快乐比他们重逢的快乐还要伟大。So Lord Krishna said that the person who can remind me of a beloved who is not present, then I consider that person to be the most sincere and helpful friend. Krishna said, "Who is the one who can remind me of a beloved who is not present, then I consider that 他感受到了这份这份快乐的时候，这个人的真诚，这个人的真诚，实际上对我是最大的帮助。嗯、mm. ，So in the mind of a a neophyte devotee, they they will be confused about these things. 然而，一个初习奉献者的心意呢，会对于这些。Because in their mind, they will think that pleasure leads to pain, and pain leads to pleasure. Because these people will think in their mind that pleasure leads to pain, and pain leads to pleasure. But、uh, but the the joy, the pleasure which is felt by an elevated devotee, there's a special pleasure which is there in. Prema bhakti and love, and have, his love for Krishna gives him a special pleasure. 有一种爱叫 prema bhakti， 嗯，这种这份爱带给 Krishna 最大的欢乐。But in the course of that pleasure, sometimes there will be disappointment. When things change, when circumstances change, sometimes you become disappointed. The nature of this world is that it's always changing. 这个世界的本质就是，不断的在变化的。So the more one is feeling ecstasy now, then the more one will feel depression in the future. 一一个人当下，他越是感到快乐，在将来他就会越感到沮丧。So the ecstasy which is there in love of God, that is greater than the, any pleasure which comes in just simply worshiping God with awe and reverence. Um, for God, for God's love, in this kind of love, the love of God is more than the love of God. The love of God is more than the love of God. The love of God is more than the love of God. 崇拜神要来的更伟大。啊、uh, ，For sure, there's the ecstasy that any happiness which comes from identifying with the Brahman. Was never as great as the happiness which comes from love of God. And Brahman, a fan, 认同带来的快乐，永远比不上能对神的爱带来的快乐
So when the happiness which one gets from prema, from love of God, when, it's, when it gets interrupted or broken by the pain of separation, then you feel, the devotee will feel great distress. So Lord Krishna wants to prove that actually that pain of separation that is actually pleasure. Because when in the heart of a devotee who is feeling this separation, then they're forced to, they want more of it. They, they actually want more of that pain of separation. It's unbearable for them to give up that pleasure of separation, that ecstasy, that pain of separation, they don't want to give it up. So this is how Krishna proves his point. Krishna He's making the point that how can how can anyone feel the urge to suffer more and more pain unless that pain is actually pleasure? Krishna so people who are outside who are, who are not in this kind of line of devotion then they may see that oh the devotees Ecstasy is suffering. And the devotee will also speak that he's suffering and he will act like he's suffering. He'll be crying and like that. But actually, it's not suffering. This is the greatest ecstasy, the greatest pleasure. Because the devotee, the, the devotee wants to continue that suffering. So it must be the, the greatest happiness. He doesn't want to give it up. Ha! 
们不想放弃这这种感情，所以他一定是最大的快乐。So、uh, we can give a material example to help us to understand this point. We can give an example to help us to understand this point. Just like ice is very cold, and it's the opposite of the heat of fire. Um, just like. 冰块是寒冷的，它和火火的产生的热量恰恰相反。But when that ice is placed on the body, it will feel as if it's hot. It will feel like it's burning cold. 但是当把这个冰块放在人的身体上的时候，这人的感觉呢，就像是煤块燃烧的煤块一样，是，嗯。So the the burning sensation from the ice is actually it, it, it's illusion. It's actually what we're feeling is the numbness due to the coldness of the ice. From this example, we can feel that the burning sensation is due to the In the same way, the pain of separation is is false. 同样的，嗯，分离之苦呢是假的。But it's disguised. The 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 actual situation is disguised because the actual situation is in the greatest happiness. Um, 真相被掩藏起来了，因为真相是最崇高的快乐。Just、so、the difference between. The ecstasy of separation from Krishna, and the common, the ordinary sensation of being touched by dry ice. There, there's a difference. A difference between the ecstasy of separation from Krishna and the ecstasy of being touched by ice. 和 Krishna 分离，嗯，带来的狂喜，与触碰到呃冰块而感冰块的感受呢，二者有着天壤的区别。So the difference is that the 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 feeling of separation is only known to a few. It's only known to Krishna. And some of his most intimate devotees. This difference is, um, and Krishna separate and Krishna and his most intimate devotees. So, Krishna means his own. Ecstasy and separation from the people of Vrindavan. Krishna is, is talking only about his his own ecstasy and separation from the people of Vrindavan. Krishna 就这样讲述了他自己和文达文的人分离而带来的这份狂喜。But the people of Vrindavan, they also experience this, the same ecstasy which Krishna is experiencing. Mm. 
So this feeling of separation applies to the bridge Basi people. Except this 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 feeling of separation applies to the bridge Basi people, but not to the young gopis. The young gopis, they never get relief, not even for a moment, from the pain of separation. Even when they're with Krishna, they're still in anxiety about losing him. So they never, they never give up that, that this ecstasy is always with them. So they never lose it, so they never have to think about getting it back because they never give it up. So they never have to get it back. But they, they also, they don't consider that the pain which they go through in separation is the goal for others. They don't think like that. They don't think this is the goal for others. They don't want that kind of pain for others because they know that that pain is sharper than a million forest fires. The gopis themselves told Uddhava, they told Uddhava, they said, when Krishna was here, in the, when he was here with Lord Balaram, at that time he enjoyed all of these places in Vrindavan, all the rivers and the hills and the forests and the cows and the sound of the flute. So all of the all of these objects of Vrindavan they remind us about Krishna. And we see Krishna's footprints with the auspicious markings on the sole of his feet. We can never forget him. So the gopis don't worry about the pain of forgetting Krishna. They can, they can never forget Krishna. Even if they wanted to forget him, they can't give him up. Sometimes they would like to forget Krishna, to give up the agony of remembering him. Krishna, 
这样就好避免这种想起 Krishna 的时候带来的内心的难过。And they don't want they don't want to ask they don't want to be they don't want to have to ask to be put into a fire of separation. They're always in the fire of separation. So the happiness they enjoy is actually greater than that of anyone else. These mountain girls, because they are constantly experiencing the Krishna separation. 因此，这种快乐实际上比任何人都要伟大。So、they're the greatest of all the servants of Krishna, and to all of his greater than all of all the other intimate devotees. 他们比 Krishna Krishna 所有其他的仆人都要优秀。而且他他们比 Krishna 所有其他亲密的奉献者都要优秀。So Lord Krishna continues speaking to Nanda Maharaj and other people in Dwarka, and he tells them, he says, you should understand when someone. When someone cares about those they love, then your one you get your one is given one's life back. Krishna 就在对嗯，多尔卡的，多尔卡的这些居民们在呃讲话说，当一个人某人。他想起所爱的人的时候，他就重获了新生，重获了生命。So, but to forget those people who are very dear to us, who are more dear to us than our own lives, is more painful than that mean. 忘记那些比自己的呼吸更令更珍贵的人们。So people who are dear to our life, we can never forget them. 如自己的生命一般宝贵的人们，这样的人，人是永远无法忘怀的。But when we get reminded about them, then we feel happy. 当我当我们记忆起他们的时时候，我们感到快乐。Just like one has had some good fortune, so being reminded of these people we like, we love, it's good fortune for us. So, 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 Important things which happened in our life. 正如一个人回忆起他们人生当中的重要时刻。So Krishna's devotees always remember Krishna, and Krishna always remembers the devotee. 同理 ，Krishna 的奉献者们总是想 Krishna， 而且 Krishna 也总是想着奉献者们。And but sometimes the remembrance will be sweet, just like sometimes it will be. There'll be nice words spoken by a nice Vaishnava, and the, and the remembrance will be sweet. Um, just like a Vaishnava. 他们的说话话语是甜美的，同样的，这份意念也变得非常的甜美
So that kind of remembrance is very satisfying to the person. The person's life has, there, there's been fortunate events in his life and being reminded about them is pleasing to him. But on the other hand, somebody may have not, there may be nothing very important in one's life. And so his life is sad. Just like one may be very poor, so there's nothing really to remember, nothing very good in the life. Just think only about the poverty. So without transcendental love, remembering dear ones doesn't have much taste to it. You may remember people who you love, but if there's no transcendental love, if it's not transcendental, there won't be much taste to it. You won't relish it for very long. So Lord Krishna tells Narada Muni, he said, Today you have done a great favor for me, so I'm delighted with you. So Lord Krishna tells Narada Muni, please tell me what what kind what benediction you would like me to give you. Narada Muni, he had reminded Lord Krishna about the gopis and about his about the attachment which Krishna has for the gopis. And this is why Lord Krishna is very grateful to him. So when Krishna said this, then Narada Muni began singing the glories of Krishna. And he was playing on his veena and he was shouting, Jai, Jai. And he praised Lord Krishna, who, was, who wanted to give him benedictions. Narada praised him with songs full of the names about Krishna's pastimes in Vrindavan. Narada Muni Jyo Gao Chang Jha Chong Ma Krishna Sheng Ming Dao Dao Chi Yue. This is the Dao Chi Miao Shu Dao Shi Chu Krishna Zai Vrindavan Dao Shi Shi Guo, Sang Er Zan Yang Chu Krishna. 
So Narada wanted to ask for some very special, very rare benedictions. So he first of all sang for the pleasure of Krishna. Then he thought, if I sing nicely for Krishna, then Krishna will give me my desires. And it, it was very pleasing to Lord Krishna to hear Narada use all the different names of Krishna which had been given to Krishna by his Vrindavan pastimes. Yeah, names, names like Yashoda Nandan and Nanda Kumara, Gopi, Gopi Jana Balaba or Gopa Gopi Jana Priya. Gopi Jana Manohara and Putana Mokshana. These are all names of Krishna which has been given to him by as a result of his pastimes in Vrindavan. So Narada Muni had wandered all the, from Dash Ashwamedha Tirtha in Prayag to Dwarka. He had wandered this whole place, a very big distance. And he spoke with, he had, he began speaking with first of all the, the Brahmana at Prayag. And by the grace of Krishna, he had achieved perfection. So Narada was feeling great pleasure. And he now wanted to hear of this perfection. He wanted to hear of this perfection directly from Krishna's own mouth. So Narada begged from Krishna the first blessing he wished to receive. Narada knew about Krishna's mercy, but he wanted to hear Krishna describe it in his own words. The pure devotees are always eager to hear these things. So 
So Narada had spoken with many devotees, beginning with the Brahmana leader at Prayag. And it ended, Narada's journey ended with Uddhava in Dwarka. So he had heard the same thing that someone else not the devotee speaking was actually favored by Krishna. So for for a person who doesn't have much taste for hearing and chanting about Lord Vishnu, then to hear this story about Narada Muni would just simply be boring. But the devotees, for those who are devotees, they're always fascinated by the, the different varieties of dealings which Krishna has with his devotees. So Narada was very cautious about how the devotees he had met. He was very cautious about the devotees he had met. The, they were, although they were very different in their different material positions, they had all perfected their life in all respects. They were all pure devotees, although they were so different from each other. Narada could understand that they were all pure. <laughs> We described the journey of Narada Muni. He was searching for the devotee who had received the greatest mercy from Krishna. So he began with a, a, the head of the Brahmana community there at Prayak. And then he went to the king in the southern region. And then he went to see Indra, and then Lord Brahma, and then Lord Shiva, and then Prahlad. And after Prahlad, then he went to Hanuman, and finally came to Uddhava. So Narada had achieved success 
in performing his religious duties. He uh, he was able to get free from any illusion, and he he could perfect the the art of serving Krishna. So they had all achieved their success by the grace of Krishna. So Narada was he was always curious to know how Krishna distributes his mercy, how he decides who he should give his mercy to. So now he was he wanted to ask to, this to Krishna directly. Narada so Narada Muni said to Krishna, he said, please, please give me the blessing that no one will ever feel he has had enough of your mercy. And they should also feel that they never have enough of devotional service. And they should never feel that they have enough pure love for you. So Narada wants Krishna to assure him of these things. No, it doesn't matter how much mercy a devotee gets, the devotee will never become satisfied. He will never be satisfied. He will always want more. He will, the, the devotee will always think that he's very unqualified for the mercy. And he needs to get more and more. So Narada uh, So Narada mentioned three things. He mentioned Krishna's mercy, and he mentioned bhakti yoga, and he mentioned prema, love of God. Narada mentioned three things. One is Krishna's mercy, 
第二是 Bhakti Yoga 奉爱瑜伽，第三个是 Prema 对神的爱。So all the three things, they they there's a, a progression, a sequence. They come not all at once. Krishna's mercy will be the cause of devotion, bhakti. Krishna's 的仁慈将会是 bhakti 奉爱的根源 And that bhakti that leads to prema. 而 bhakti 奉爱又导导向了 prema. So Narada is saying that Vaishnavas, on different levels, they progress through different levels, so they have different needs. Narada 的意思是说，因为这些 Vaishnava， 他们都是在父爱之途上有在。A neophyte devotee needs special mercy from Krishna. And he needs also the mercy of Krishna's devotees to begin the process of bhakti yoga. And one who is an intermediate devotee, then he has many opportunities for practicing his devotion. 一位中阶的奉献者。需要充分的机会来修习他个人的嗯奉爱。And the mature devotee, meaning the the advanced devotee, he is driven by his this strong urge to to taste love for Krishna. 而一位成熟的奉献者。他们就感受就会，嗯，有一种强动、强烈的冲动，去品味对 Krishna 的，去品味对 Krishna 的爱。And those people who are impersonalists, they 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 would be satisfied just to be contemplating their self, the the they're having their own level of self-realization. 和主义者们，嗯，会，因为他们，会因为他们的理论上的自我觉悟而感到心满意足。So Narada Muni and those who follow in the line of Narada Muni will never have enough of the the ecstasy of service to Krishna. 男儿的母女以及在男儿的母女传系当中的他的追随者们，永远都品尝不够对 Krishna 的爱带来的狂喜。Because they discover more and more in their relationship with Krishna, they begin to understand more and more, and it's always increasing. 他们。在和 Krishna 的关系当中，他们会有更多的发现，有更多的狂喜。So Lord Krishna heard this from Narada Muni, 
now Lord Krishna is replying to Narada Muni and he says to him, he said, Oh, you, oh, you uh, great scholar, you clever scholar, what kind of benediction is this? Lord Krishna says, my mercy, my devotional service and love for me, all, they all have the same nature, they all have this nature that, that be, the devotee thinks he never has enough of it. Krishna You are asking for a benediction, but this should be obvious. I've already given this. The benediction is already there. And so Lord Krishna was thinking it's strange that Narada Muni is asking for something which is already a fact. So so Narada Muni, Narada Muni definitely knew this, so he, he must have some other hidden reason for asking for this. And his reason was he wanted to hear Krishna personally explain the glories of Prima Bhakti, love of God. So we will stop here today. Maybe wait, wait for one or two minutes before they raise the question. Okay. Hare Krishna, dear uh, Guru Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. Oh, glory to Shri Prabhupada. It is believed that the gopis in separation from Krishna experienced not only suffering but also happiness. How is this happiness different from the happiness when Krishna was with them? Yuvati Sachi Shri Hare Krishna, Chena Guru Maharaj. 其实我被被顶戴荣耀归于舍佛菩萨。人们相信 so the difference is that when they're in separation from Krishna, they think of Krishna more intensely and more constantly. Yeah, that feeling of being separate from Krishna intensifies the remembrance of Krishna. So that's the difference. Krishna 
And as we heard today, the young gopis are always feeling separation from Krishna, even when he's with them. That's why they're complaining about Brahma as a creator because he made the eyes which blink. Hari is asking, Hari Krishna, or obeisance guru and devotees, I have taken shelter uh, from another guru as my Iksha guru. The first question is, now I want to accept you as my Shiksha guru. Is that all right that I, can I accept you as my instructing guru? What is the process? Or only I meditate on your teaching, that is, uh, I only meditate on your teaching. That's the first part. Yes, well, you can have many instructing gurus. You don't just have one instructing guru. You can take instruction from many people. But generally, from the people who are giving you instruction, one person should become more prominent. So it may be that that person is more in touch with you, He's, it's more easier for you to reach him, or it may be that you have greater faith in him, greater confidence in him, so you take more instruction. But you can take instruction from more than one person. You don't have to give up someone from being your instructing guru. Well, yes, she can do, but in ISKCON, we don't have any real uh, strict standard about accepting someone as Shiksha Guru. It's simply up to you who you go and hear from and who you take instruction from. 
可以，您是可以的，呃，就像您说的，嗯，但是呢，在 ISCON 当中呢，没有真正的一个接受信使顾问的标准，您就直接去这位顾问那里去聆听他的信使就好了。Now sometimes we get initiation from the teacher and we're not able to communicate very much with the person who gives us initiation. So at such times we will need to have a shiksha guru. 有的时候呢，我们虽然从一位姑姑那里获得了启迪，但是却无法跟这位姑姑有的沟通，二者，所以我们确实是需要训示的，需要训示姑姑的。Yes. So we take instruction from Prabhupada, of course. The The, the purpose of having a guru and taking instruction is all to connect us more closely to Srila Prabhupada. Prabhupada is the, the principal instructing guru for all the devotees in Iskcon. So you have to understand that all the gurus. Are serving the same purpose to connect us to Prabhupada and to connect us to the disciplic succession. So you need to understand, all the gurus, they are serving the same goal. That is to connect us to Prabhupada and to connect us to the disciplic succession. So you want to take instruction from me? You can do. Yes, not a problem. You just simply hear the classes. You can ask questions. You're welcome, and I don't think your guru will object. So, if you want to accept the Maharaj as a guru, he says there is no problem. You just need to listen to the class. 提问题，呃，所以欢迎您来听课提问题。相信，呃，您的喜迪姑姑是对此不会有反对意见的。So even though we may be initiated by one guru, it's not that we only hear from one guru. We hear from all the spirit, because the guru is one, but he comes in different forms. 所以，即便是一个启已经启迪了的门徒，他也并不是只是聆听他自己的启迪咕噜。所所有，呃，所有的咕噜都是一，都是一位，他们只是以不同的形式展现出来。嗯。OK。Thank you. 下一个问题是来自于 Japa Mala， 这位 Dasi。Hare Krishna， 敬爱的马尔，请接着播一辈子，请拜。请问在主的显现日和主的同流显现日可以抛花吗 ？Japa Mala is asking that please accept my humble obeisance, Maharaj. Uh, on the appearance day of Lord or the on the appearance day of Lord's associate. Can we, uh, throw pow, um, petal, flower petals to the to the to them? Yes, uh, offering flower petals, you can, to the offer just like the appearance day of Lord Nityananda, we may offer flower petals to the deities. 
on the appearance day of Srila Prabhupada, we may offer, well, every day we offer flower petals to the lotus feet of Prabhupada when we do Guru Puja. So on their appearance day, you can also offer flower petals at the lotus feet of these Acharyas. Maybe she's asking whether should we uh, offer the whole flower instead of flower petals? Is that, are there any restrictions on that? No, no restrictions. Okay. Um, 就是, 就是在他们的 显现日,显现日上,比如说主理天南的,石头婆婆的显现日上,我们确实是可以给他们供奉花瓣的。Sometimes you may only have one flower, so you divide the flower among all the devotees and each devotee offers a petal. Yes. Okay. Hare Krishna, is it possible that the taste for the holy name increases? But material desire do not disappear, or is it some delusion of a devotee? Oh, Hare, Hare Krishna, you may have this possibility. The taste of the holy name is increasing, but the material desire is not disappearing. Or, in other words, it is just a delusion of the devotee. Yes, you may think that your taste is increasing for the holy name, but if you're still having material desires, it means you haven't really developed a taste for the holy name. Hmm. 带来的情感转变为灵性情感Obeisance to Guru and all teachers. Um, if all if the gopis who are situated on the highest devotional level are always worrying about the separation, the feeling of separation from the Lord, then the question is that we have we we have uh, some uh, special remembrance and we are missing our parents, relatives, or some some people who have special relationship with us. So is that coming from the is that quality uh, comes from the spiritual world? And how to change this feeling into a spiritual emotion? For example, now if I now if I retired from my family, I'm afraid that this emotion will affect, uh, affect, have, 
um, affection uh, will it, uh, will affect me that uh, both my material and spiritual life will be affected. But this feeling is so real. So under the circumstances, how can I elevate myself and my family members in the spiritual path? And oh, at the same time, I do not have any sense of guilty to my relatives. Well, the sense of duty to your relatives and so on, that's your material duties. You know, you can't just give these things up so easily. You're not, you're not required to give them up. She said that she had the, she, if she retired, she would feel some, she would feel guilty of, of, that she, she felt, felt guilty to her relatives that she did need, need not to give up this emotion to the relatives. Yes, therefore I say you don't need to give this up. Oh, okay. Uh, we see the example of the gopis, that the gopis, although they, they had, they had also their material duties, they had their families and husbands and so on, but they were serving them. But in their heart, they were always thinking of Krishna. Krishna. So you also, in, in your own life, you can also become more Krishna conscious by regularly hearing and chanting the glories of Krishna. And you can think, you can sing the songs about Krishna, just like Narada Muni was singing the songs of the names of Krishna. So you can also sing the songs with the names of Krishna. But don't be, don't try to do everything, don't make yourself cheap. Just like Raghunath Das Goswami, he came to Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and he wanted to renounce everything. And Lord Chaitanya sent him home. He said, you stay at home, but keep Krishna in your heart and serve Krishna in your heart. But be a normal person. Externally behave like a normal person. <laughs> Krishna 
服务 Krishna， 外在的表现就像个正常人一样，在外在的就,就看来就像常人一样。嗯哼，嗯，下下一个下一个问题是来自于 Mi Minakshi David Dasi。Hi Krishna， 顶拜布鲁。我替拉蒂尼马达吉问问题：工作能帮助奉献者做奉爱服务吗？还是如果奉献者没有足够的钱的话，应该去努力做奉爱服务吗？ Mina Mina she did that is paying our business and she's asking a question on behalf of Ladini. She's asking, can work can can our job help devotees to carry out their devotional service? Can I can I what stop devotees? Can work working. Mm -hmm. Help devotee. Is our work helpful for a devotee to do devotional service? Is it helpful? Yes. Well, it depends what your work is, and it depends also on your own consciousness in performing the work. Also depends on. What job you're doing? Just like if you're working in a tobacco factory, it is not very good. If you're working in a brewery. It's not for devotees to work in these places. Casino, if you work in a casino every day, gambling, this is not also an atmosphere for devotees. 或者是在那些就是赌赌场、赌场工作，这些氛围呢 ？Or if you're in the bar, working in the bar, it's not good for devotee. 就在酒吧上班，就不、嗯、没有什么帮助，不好。So your job should be something which is. You know, which is not going to be a big obstruction to your Krishna consciousness. That you can be, you can think of Krishna. So you have to have the consciousness that I'm working in this job for Krishna. A good job for devotees is to do things like teaching, just like some devotees they teach yoga. So that's a good job for a devotee. 对于奉献者，他们，嗯，他们的好的工作就是教育，比如说教瑜伽，这是很不错的，这是一份不错的职业。Maybe you can teach music. You can also do that. 也许您可以教授音乐。Sometimes I would teach English. 嗯 ，You mentioned you yourself are teaching English. Yeah. 哦、oh, ，Mara 说，呃，他他自己以前曾经就是教过英语。So this kind of job, you know, some kind of you have to you have to 
work, you know, you have, sometimes you can do farming. Farming is a very pious profession. Taking care of cows is also very pious. And you, you can work in the market, sell vegetables, sell fruit, that's also pious. But the, you should have the consciousness that I'm doing this for Krishna. And, and the money you earn from it, we should use it in the service of Krishna. We buy food and we offer it to Krishna. Alright. If devotee if a devotee doesn't have enough money, should this devotee try to devote try to do devotional service? Yes. You don't need money to do devotional service. You just need to chant Hare Krishna. That's the most important thing in devotional service. You don't have to have money. You don't have to be a rich person. We have many great devotees who are very poor. And they're very happy. Chanting the holy name. They have no material desires. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Hare Krishna Maharaj, Dimbanyanakasu,Chingman Hare Krishna Maharaj, obeisance to your lotus feet. The question is that can, whether or not it is possible for a conditioned soul, conditioned soul to cultivate directly transcendental transcendental remembrance of Lord, Supreme Lord Krishna, or should 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 we first uh, we need to first of all cultivate that feeling to our to people who are around us, uh, or whether or not that we first of all practice to cultivate this feeling emotion from um, from remembers of people around us 
if we don't have that deep experience of this emotion, whether or not can we cultivate the love and the remembrance of Lord? If we don't have we don't have transcendental remembrance and attachment to guru and devotee, whether or not it is possible for us to cultivate this uh, remembrance and attachment to Lord Krishna. I don't think it's possible. If you don't have attachment to you don't have transcendental attachment. You have to understand that any remembrance of Krishna is transcendental. So you want to cultivate transcendental attachment for Krishna and Guru, but you don't want to remember, you, you want to remember them, but you can't, you don't have any attachment for them. Is it like that? If, if we don't have a remembrance and attachment to devotees and, and Guru, um, so we, we still, we are not yet cultivate the attachment to Guru and devotees. Then how can you have attachment to Krishna? Mm. Well, we could say just like Kanista Adhikari, a junior neophyte devotee, he may be attached to the deities, attached to Krishna in the temple, but he's not attached to devotees. So somebody is in that position, they have attachment to Krishna and they're serving Krishna. They, they, they may get some mercy from the devotees and somebody may come and instruct them and inspire them and so they can come up from the neophyte level, they can become a, a, a Madhyama Adhikari and they can appreciate Krishna in the heart of all the living entities. They see Krishna, they don't just see Krishna in the deity but they see it Krishna in the heart of all the people also. So you 把他们从初期奉献者的层面提升到终极奉献者的层面上。这样呢，这样这样一个人就会欣欣赏到在众生心中有Krishna，他们不仅仅会在庙宇当中的神像看到庙宇中的神像是Krishna，他们也会看到所
因为 Krishna 是总是和他的奉献者们在一起的。So you have to develop some appreciation for Krishna's devotees. Otherwise, Krishna won't accept you. So you must be able to appreciate Krishna's devotees. Otherwise, Krishna won't accept you. So you must be able to appreciate Krishna's devotees. Otherwise, Krishna won't accept you. So you must be able to appreciate Krishna's devotees. Otherwise, Krishna won't accept you. So you must be able to appreciate Krishna's devotees. 九九九，顶拜布莲花族和所有奉献者，怎样区分 Krishna 的超然特性？说不经出生就存在，超然的形体永不朽坏等等，是哪一种？答案会不会无限的仁慈 ？So obeisance to God's lotus feet and devotees. How to distinguish Krishna's transcendental quality with Krishna's transcendental position, and also with Krishna's transcendental character? For example, Krishna is Acha; he exists without birth, and Krishna's transcendental form never deteriorates. So, in which category does this belong? Belong to? In which category? Category? In which category does what belong to? Krishna's Krishna is acha, and Krishna is unborn, and Krishna's form is eternal. So, so what? So he is ask he or she is asking, um, these two quality. Does that belong to his transcendental quality or belongs to his transcendental position? Yeah. Yeah, both. Oh, 那都都是都属于，就不不用区分。那既是他的超人品质，也是他的超人地位。The next one,、mm. uh, he continued to ask in Bhagavad Gita four four point thirty seven in purport. Sri Papa said, "There is difference between Atma and per Paramatma. It does that." Uh, there's difference between self and uh, and uh, transcendental self. And he's asking, does that does that? Transcendental self refers to the super soul. Is she quoting a text? Yes. Four point thirty, chapter four, verse thirty-seven. Bhagavad Gita. Yes.、Yeah. Bhagavad Gita. Yes, chapter four. Mm. Verse thirty-seven. Ah,、uh, perfect knowledge of self and super self, and of the relationship is compared here in to fire. So, the question is that whether the super self refers refers to the paramatma. Yes, yes, I think so. Yes, I would say yes. It refers to paramatma. 嗯，是的，这个超我就是指的超灵。嗯、mm -hmm. ，And Radhika Priya says thank you for your answer. Next is Hui Wei Hui， 请教 Guru， 
，奉献者会有这样的切身感受吗？比如感受到 Krishna 在安排自己的生活、工作和学习。Guru, whether or not devotees will have the experience that Krishna is, Krishna is directly arrange our life, our work, and our our study, education. How do we know that Krishna has arranged all this? Hmm. Is that the, is that whether the, we will have we will per, yes uh, uh, well, well, uh, if we can feel that Krishna is there is arranging everything for us well a devotee understands that Krishna is controlling everything he is the supreme controller. So, there's the material energy and there's the spiritual energy. And so devotees who have surrendered to Krishna, they are under the control of the spiritual energy. And those who have not surrendered to Krishna, they are under the material energy. So Krishna so, so under the material energy, we suffer, we're under the control of the three modes of nature, the goodness, passion and ignorance. And we suffer and enjoy according to our past activities. Now we, you may say, well, you know, I'm, I'm a devotee, I've surrendered to Krishna, but it's, we have to see, we have to think, how much have we surrendered to Krishna? How much have we really taken shelter of Krishna? And we have to understand also, it takes some time for us to get free from our material attachments. Before coming to Krishna consciousness, we had many bad habits. We have to gradually overcome the bad habits. Replace the bad habits with good habits. So somehow we try to bless the devotees. We try to. We, we have. We have to hear regularly to understand how Krishna is controlling, how Krishna is arranging for everyone. He provides for everyone according to 
their qualifications. Krishna, 根据一个生物的资格，他为他提供，嗯，提供他他所需求的。So even the insects, tiny insects like the ants, they get also their food by the grace of Krishna. And the elephant also gets his food by the grace of Krishna. Okay. Thank you. Next question is from Yogalakshmi Shore. Hare Krishna. Please, Maharaj. Every year, many family members are eating meat. Many relatives are together in a feast. This situation affects normal daily food. My family is very stressed out. 有时候想离开这个家，该如何以正确的心态去面对无法改变的现状呢？如何去做？这种焦虑属于灵性的焦虑吗？是好的吗？嗯，妈呀，呃 ，during the Spring Festival， 呃、uh, ，many family members get together with devotee， but they are all non-vegetarian。So every day they meet together and associate with each other. It um, have great effect on the daily life of devotee. So devotee will feel very worried. Sometimes, uh, she want she want to leave this how home. So how can we? How can I change my situation? How can I have the proper mood? Correct mood to face the situation that we cannot change. What should we do? Is this uh worry belong to the is is it spiritual? Uh, is is this worry good or not? Yes, it's good to worry about it. You should understand this is your our karma from our past. That we're placed into these situations. Um, this kind of anxiety is good. Um, to understand, um, but to understand, um, but to understand, um, but to u n d 但是也要明白，这种处境不是永恒的。So we, a devotee is tolerant about these things. We have to put up with these difficulties. 奉献者他们有容忍的品质，所以他们必须要容忍嗯困境。So you're associated by people who are not devotees. But you have to keep Krishna in your heart. You have to somehow chant the help, chant the Hare Krishna mantra. You have to depend on Krishna. He will. In the future, gradually things will change. You have an opportunity. Maybe in the next life, maybe you have to wait till the next life before you get more association. This is nature of material world. Even I was telling Raghunath Das, he was a devotee. He was associating with materialistic people. Lord Chaitanya told him, "Go home." Lord Chaitanya, go home. Stay there. Don't, don't try to be foolish.
你们应该念诵 Hare Krishna mantra， 依靠 Krishna， 因此将来就能改变机会，或者是要等到来世才能获得更多的，嗯，好的涟漪。您要明白，这是物质世界的本性。就，嗯，刚才说到了 Raghunath Das 这样了不起的奉献者呢，他也要和他也要忍受物质的涟漪。主宰的那样命令他。你要待在家里头，你不要变得愚蠢。嗯。Gradually, in course of time, you get older, and you can become more detached from these situations. 嗯，逐渐的呢，就随着时间的推移，您上了年纪。嗯，就会气绝，气绝这些处境了。Somehow, according to our past deeds, we're placed into these situations. Now you're thinking to be devotee. So. It takes some time. Krishna will adjust things gradually. You have to keep the desire that you want to. You want to take shelter of Krishna. Ah, <音>就是由于我们过往的活活活动呢，导致我们当下的处境。那现在您希希望成为奉献者。但是这需要时间，嗯 ，Krishna 逐渐的就会调整，调整，做出安排，调整。您要保持内心的愿望，脱离 Krishna。All right。好，下一个问题是 ：Hare Krishna， 深深顶拜部和所有奉献者，请问出席、出入奉爱瑜伽的人？总是要请教启迪过的奉献者，不能表达对他们的仁慈，不能表达对他们的仁慈表示表达感激和积极的赞美吗？有两次看到他们很慌，很恐慌，让我很害怕，因自己无知对他们造成了不适。请问有关奉献之间的交往与日常礼仪的书籍或音频吗？啊，哦不。Obeisance to guru and devotees. Um, as a new faculty, uh, I will always uh seek guidance from those initiated devotees. Yet I cannot express my gratitude and uh glorify uh gratitude to them because for uh twice I I saw that they are they are in panic, and so I'm afraid of making a offense to them. So are there any books or video on the topics about the dealing, daily dealing, dealing or the etiquette between devotees? I don't know of anything. So, sorry. Um, um, I don't, I don't know, right? Yeah, I don't know any material on this. Yeah, I don't think anybody has written anything really about living with non-devotees and. Uh, so sorry. Um, maybe I translate again because uh, she said, um, uh, she's asking whether or not she can ex. Express her uh, gratitude to the mercy found from senior devotees, or whether or not she can glorify them. Mm, because uh, twice she she saw that uh, these senior devotees they are afraid to be glorified, so she is afraid of. Offending them because to she 
she wants to express her gratitude to those divinity well emotions. she can express glorification of them without them being present they don't have to be present to hear their glorification but she can appreciate them to other devotees in their absence we don't like to hear glorification is true. A devotee doesn't like to hear himself glorified. He wants to hear Krishna glorified. And he wants to hear his spiritual master glorified. 的确，嗯，奉献者们他们不希望听到自己受到荣耀，他们想听到Krishna受到荣耀，他们希望听到灵性导师受到赞美和荣耀。So you want to appreciate senior devotees, it's good, but don't do it in their presence. 所以您希望来欣赏这些资深奉献者，这是件好事儿。但是呢，您可以就是不要在他当着他的面儿来来做这些事儿。OK。啊，下一个问题来自于J.J.J.A.Das，梵谷精彩仁慈的讲课，梵歌第四章超然的知识和第七章有关绝对真理的知识和第九
除此之外，有更机密的知识，就是了解 Krishna， 了解 Krishna 的能量了。And then you have the most confidential knowledge, and that's about Krishna's relationship with his pure devotees. Okay. Um, Non-attachment yoga and Buddha yoga. What 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 was the Sanskrit words? The asakti asakti yoga. <coughs> asakti. Yes. <coughs> no, so me me is Tantama yoga and the Buddha yoga. What's the difference between the two? Uh huh. Niskam Kama Yoga. Yeah. Well, Buddha Yoga, Prabhupada uses the word Buddha Yoga in different ways. He usually just says Krishna consciousness is Buddha Yoga. Krishna, but Niskam Karma Yoga, Buddha Yoga, practically they're, they're not. They're, I mean, there's not much difference. Niskam Karma Yoga is, and Niskam Karma Yoga is very close to Bhakti. Both Buddha Yoga and Niskan Karma Yoga are Karma Yoga. Are what? Akama. Akama. No material desires, yes. Right. Okay. 可以通过像祈祷方式让自己脱离这种不利于妨碍服务的处境吗？那该如何正确祈祷？祈祷时只有先向不如祈祷后才能向着祈祷吗？嗯，because of past uh activity, now we are situated in a difficult uh situation. So beside petition tolerance, can we pray to Lord that? We pray that Lord will will uh, allow us to uh, get rid of be liberated from this uh, situation that is unfavorable to devotional service. So how can what is the right prayer? And while praying, should we first pray to Guru, Guru, and, and after that we pray to Lord? Yes, generally we, we would first. Pray to Guru and then pray to Krishna, right? But a devotee is, you know, I mean, he, a devotee will accept whatever situation he's in as the arrangement of Krishna. That Krishna's put me into this position, you know. Just let me. I I just have to accept it. I have to go on and somehow remember Krishna, even though it's not very easy. Not, but this is my karma. Um, but um, 
。是奉献者的态度是，他会接受任何的处境，嗯，他接受呢，他认为这都是奎什纳安排的，奎什纳把我置于这样的处境之下呢，我就接受好了。但是我继续，我记住奎什纳，嗯、呃，即便呢这么做也不不容易，但是是由于我过往的业报导致的。And we see great devotees how, you know, they they just accept whatever position they're in, whether they're poor, or rich, or they're diseased. They they just go on. They they just want to be to remember Krishna and to chant the holy name, and and they accept whatever situation they're in. They don't pray to Krishna, take me out of this situation. And, Give me some other situation. They just accept whatever position they're in is Krishna's plan for them, and go on practice devotional service. Um, we see, uh, great devotees who are the leaders of the movement. They accept their situation, no matter if they are poor or rich, or if they are diseased, or if they are sick. 有着疾病，他们只是继续从事服务。他们记，他们记忆奎什纳，唱诵奎什纳的名字。他们接受他们当下的处境，他们不会向奎什纳祈祷，说奎什纳，你把我从这个处境当中，嗯，提提提出去吧。他们接受奎什纳，他们他们接受这个处境，他们接受奎什纳的计划，他们继续为奎什纳从事奉爱服务。So Krishna, we should think Krishna knows what's good for me, and He's put me in this situation. I just, I have to accept it. 嗯，就是呃，我我们要想 ，Krishna 知道什么对我们最好。Krishna 把我放在这样的处境之下，我就接受就好了。You may think, oh, it's so difficult to be in a woman's body, to be a mother, or to be a wife. It's so difficult, but it's difficult for everyone in the material world. You 可能会想着，哎呀，在一个女人的身体当中，或者是，嗯，太难了。作为一个母亲，太难了。作为妻子，太难了。但是你要明白，这个物质世界当中，每个人都很艰难。Women have their problems, men have their their problems. 女人有女人的身体有问题，但是男人也有问题。Married women have problems, and people who are not married have problems. 已婚的妇女有问题，未婚的女女子也有问题。You're not going to get away from the troubles of the material world. 你无法摆脱物质世界的种种麻烦。In every situation, you can find troubles, but we have to take shelter of devotional service, and that will help. That will get us over over all the troubles. 嗯，我但是我们要脱背于，你要脱背于奉献服务，脱背于奉献服务就可以帮助您克服种种的麻烦。You're not going to change the trouble just by changing your material situation. 嗯，你不能依靠改变你物质的处境，嗯、呃，来避免这些麻烦。嗯。So important thing is to take shelter of the holy name and to absorb yourself in worshiping Krishna and hearing about Krishna. Then all your problems are solved. 您只需要去脱离圣名，崇拜 Krishna， 嗯，聆听有关 Krishna 的提旨，那么您所有的问题就迎刃而解了。Hare Krishna. Okay. No more questions. Yes. Uh, the JS does. Thank you, Guru, for your wonderful lecture and mercy. Thank you. Unlimited. Thank you.
yes, no more questions. Okay, so Mohammed Ganshi Guru Mani, Ke Mohammed Pramini, Mohammed Ganshi Function Chil Ling Ti, Jufuni Man, Chang Song Kwai La, Ling Sin De Jin Bu, Hare Krishna, Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Thank you, Mara. Um,